Now, Des already said his release is personal to him. We all know that. He wants to play them twice a year and throw up the X. Uh, let's talk about how ugly this breakup can get. How ugly do you guys think it will get? I actually don't think that ugly. Let me tell you why. Remember when James Harrison left the Steelers and the Steelers all had a lot to say? I don't know if the Dallas Cowboys have that personality. I, I would love a soap opera, but I think the soap opera storyline that they have mastered is amnesia. And what I'm talking about is the so-called Garrett guys, the captains. I don't see Sean Lee subtweeting Dez when training camp starts. <laughs> I don't think Jason Witten is going to be wearing a Garrett guy's T-shirt to yeah. mock him. They don't have it. Garrett, the actual guy, doesn't have it. And the one guy who would be for it, who would be the talking, is Jerry Jones. And he loves Dez. So I love the soap opera, but I don't think we're getting it, okay? <laughs> You know, every breakup is ugly. You know, we love relationship analogies. And, uh, you know, I got a single friend, Darnell, who I talk about often. And when he's talking to a girl, he asks me my opinion. Or say, Darnell. No, 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 no. I don't think you're right for her. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's right for you. And he's always like, why? Why are you saying that? I'm like, I'm just keeping it real with mm -hmm. you. And that's what this came down to. Everybody keeping it real. We know the number hanging over his head. We know the production on the field. Yeah. I'll take you back to my last year in Detroit where it was injury after injury. And finally, Detroit came to me and said, listen, with the number that you think you're worth, we're not going to keep you on the roster. I would hope now being removed from it that they went to Calvin Johnson. They went to Matt Stafford. They went to Sue. They went to Glover Quinn and said, do you think we should keep Nate even if we don't believe he can stay healthy for 16 games? And if those guys are about winning, they should have answered, no, mm. I can respect that now. The thing about breakups is, initially, you're always in your feelings. Hell yeah. Yeah, and look, <laughs> Kyle said that those guys aren't typically talkers. They're not going to subtweet. They asked Dak. He was glowing about Dez. Of course. They asked I love My brother. Oh, he made me the better player. They asked <laughs> Sean Lee. Yeah. I, 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 I'd be terrorized. I would hate to play against him, all this stuff. Yeah. What happens when Dez takes another shot, uh -huh. and Dez takes another shot, and Dez has... 50 catches through 10 weeks, you know. So Dez right. starts having this great season. Or on the flip side, these guys are winning and Dez is struggling. Like, this is where I want to see it. The day after, the couple of days after, okay. But a couple of weeks removed, is everyone going to be kumbaya? Or does someone on the Cowboys, someone on the Cowboys say, you know what? Mm -hmm. We're better off without Dez's crap, you know, or something like that. And, and that starts coming out because everyone's taking the yeah. high road right now. Jason Williams is not the guy who's like five months after you break up, calling, leaving drunk messages on the voice. Oh, so I don't see that. I happening. don't know. Look, when you when maybe you one say, of the young guys. I don't know. Garrett's guys. That's a direct shot at those yeah. three men. Yes. You said it was drawing a line. Was drawing the line and Garrett's guys, the ones with the C's. I mean, it wasn't like he was saying hey, there's a backup guard here. No, no. Garrett's guys trashed me behind my back and got rid of me. And they're all saying, we love Dez. Mm -hmm. Something's got to give here. Well, he might end up right down the road with the Texans.